Koko Osareku Shon Kakunin Zumi. Cause we don't have any other character. And so, GNOME 42 is all about porting the core apps to live ad beta, but also introducing GTK4 on GNOME SDK. So the next release, coming in September, will continue exactly where 42 left us. GTK4 will keep receiving performance improvements, like the hardware accelerated rendering for fonts, and together with the apps that were already ported to the next gen of GNOME Toolkit. Like our new shiny software store, or the settings app with the scheme switching finally, and various other apps like Calendar with the improved navigation, or even some complete rewrites like the new text app. In GNOME 43 we're gonna get all the rest missing pieces. Like the long awaiting files port to live ad beta that will be totally inside GNOME 43, or the terminal app, that most likely will be also ported to GTK4 as long as the VTE bindings will be ready. The underrated web app will also join, it will be faster than ever, and it will be the main web browser for phones, but most best of everything? The work for GNOME Builder in GTK4 has already been started, and it is totally gonna be the highlight of 43 release. Unfortunately I can't build it as I was hoping for, but I bet in a couple of weeks we'll be capable of running and available as Flatpak. Point? We don't even need to wait for September to get a glimpse of the next release. It's coming soon.